Hi guys, I'm just setting up in uh, this pulling rig again. I've made some updates, put a contactor right on the rig so there's uh, so I can switch higher voltage into, voltages into it potentially and also put uh, have a lower uh, resistance because uh, the, the other time previously I've had a long cable that was causing a lot of voltage drop. Um, this is not using the setup, this is just a weight uh, but I was just testing this out, testing the uh, high-speed camera to make sure it would trigger and I just pulled the rope with nothing on it and I noticed a very interesting uh, phenomenon. Now let's go look at the video and see it. Here's the motor just starting off and pulling, uh, there's nothing on the end of the rope. Initially it comes in very well but it looks and eventually the rope is going faster and you're getting these interesting uh, little pa um, shapes that sort of maintain their position even though the rope is uh, moving probably well over 100 kilometers an hour at this point. And then the rope comes right over, being pulled backwards through that little uh, copper tube guide thing. I'm going to have to try this again, this is interesting. I'd like to know more about the physics of how the rope actually maintains those patterns while the rope is moving so fast. That would be interesting to uh, look into a bit more. Let's try this again from a different viewpoint. Uh, I'm struggling a little bit to light the path enough to uh, see it on the high-speed camera, but I think this is good enough. Anyway, let's give this a go. Three, two, one. Here's the rope uh, pulling tight. Unfortunately we can't see what's going on in the bottom left, uh, or sorry, top left of the video, because the rope seems to be the same color as the, the wood, so I should have uh, painted the wood black there, but oh well. Looks like as it as the rope comes through, the uh, I'm guessing that the end of the rope is has been sort of whipped forward at a higher speed than the uh, bulk of the rope, probably because the um, when it initially starts winding the, the uh, tension doesn't travel instantly up the rope, it travels up much more slowly. Uh, by the time the uh, tension's gotten to the end, there's a whole bunch built up. And as it continues on, we don't, firstly we don't see any uh, that effect we saw last time with, uh, with that uh, pattern, stationary pattern. There was a little bit of it, sort of near the center there. And again, it sort of goes well behind the machine, then it pulls it back in. I think I'm going to take a close-up, much higher speed look at uh, how the rope goes through that little uh, guide uh, guide thing, just that feeds it onto the uh, pulley. That should be interesting. Ooh, this one bent it back. Looks like uh, I'm probably going to have to redesign this thing, but this should be an interesting video. Wow, that rope is strong. I'm surprised it uh, didn't break as it went through there. So some interesting uh, patterns we see. I'd like to know what this uh, is called, what this physics is called of ropes moving like this. Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching.